Well, good evening. Welcome to Staple Inn, the home of the Institute and Faculty of Actuaries. It's a beautiful setting and indeed a beautiful day for me to be able to deliver my presidential address. I'd also like to welcome members watching this address online. It's incredible that we have 26,000 members around the world. My name is Fiona Morrison, and I'm honoured to have become your president less than an hour ago when this badge of office was placed around my neck by outgoing President Nick Salter. I'm a partner at Lane, Clark & Peacock, and our strapline is insight, clarity, advice. Tonight, I hope to give you an insight into who I am, clarity as to what I stand for, and tell you about some advice I've received as I start my year as president. <laughs> so let me first share this advice with you. Last year's president, Nick Salter, who's looking extremely worried in front of me at the moment, advised me, don't do it, Fiona. Now, those of you who know Nick well, and those of you who were here at the AGM earlier will have um, seen that as well, they'll recognize my dilemma, because you're never quite sure whether or not he's joking. And usually he is. So I ignored him, and here I am. Now, I want to show you a picture. It was a moment earlier this year when I was on a visit to Mumbai to meet Indian actuaries. These children from some of the poorest areas of the city came to the hotel to re pri receive prizes from the Institute of Actuaries of India. The hotel must have seemed like a palace to them. It was a humbling experience. The children are gifted mathematically. I watched, entranced, as their hands shot up in answer to questions. Their keenness and enthusiasm was infectious. So what was my advice to them? I said, know what you're good at, work really hard, and keep focused on your dream. No one should accept being told you can't do it, because with hard work, a clear focus, and the right skills, you can achieve anything. We also have many mathematically gifted children in the UK who will make brilliant actuaries. Why does this matter to me? Because it's incumbent upon us to sustain the profession for these future actuaries. In India, one thing I found particularly inspiring were the Indian actuaries volunteering to help these children and support their dream of joining our profession. And that's happening all over the world. The UK's own worshipful company of actuaries is doing similar work to encourage young mathematicians in schools and promote careers in our profession. These are great examples of how actuaries are ensuring that these talented young people will be there to follow us. This is a very special moment for me, standing here as your new president. I follow Nick, who served the institute and faculty, as we all knew he would with style, flair, not least the humour, as he focused on his theme of diversity. He's empowered council to become more effective. He's built strong bridges between the executive and the volunteers, epitomised by the President's award earlier being um, given to the executive. And he's focused on key areas that needed improvement. Nick. Thank you so much for all your work and for taking the institute and faculty to where it is today. 
you'll be a hard act to follow, not least because I'm not a natural stand-up comedian. <laughs> but at least my presidential address won't need to be edited and stripped back <laughs> before going online. <laughs> Sometimes looking back for a moment helps us to look forward as the world around us changes. Who would have thought that general insurance would become the fastest growing market for our skill set? Well, I certainly didn't when I first joined the profession. The handful of actresses then working in general insurance has grown to three and a half thousand today. I see at my firm, LCP, the bright young actresses who are moving us forward into areas that didn't even exist when I started out. Indeed, they couldn't exist before the change brought by modern-day computing. Council has been reflecting on the changes in our environment to ensure that our vision and strategy remain aligned and responsive to those changes. Our vision is still relevant and fit for purpose. We will continue to serve the public interest and ensure that actuaries are trusted and sought after. As your president, to help us achieve our vision, I will be working with council to refresh the strategy. And I can say that with enormous confidence. In council, we have a strong, diverse and rich resource Indeed, at the AGM earlier um, this afternoon, we announced the results of the most hotly contested elections I can remember. And I have to say, I was mightily relieved I didn't have to stand in such a strong field. One of the things I learned from my days rowing at university is about teamwork. The team and its success is bigger than the individual parts. And in delivering our vision, we have a strong team with the rich resource on council and an incredibly committed and professional executive led by Derek Cribb. But even so, as your president, council and the executive, we cannot do it alone. So over the next year, my challenge to you is to join and, en and enhance the team to help us deliver the strategy. Much of what I said to those children in Mumbai is relevant to all of us today. Be focused, work hard, strive to succeed. Together, we can deliver the vision for our profession. During my year as president-elect, I've met many inspirational people. I can see some of you here tonight, and I want to thank you for inspiring me. I should say inspiring me, because you have. Um, I know you'll continue to push the boundaries on what actors do and help move the profession forward. And it's become clear to me that we've an army of people who are as passionate, determined, and focused as me about our profession. None more so than Colin Wilson, our new president-elect. Colin brings a wealth of experience from both the public and private sectors. And I look forward very much to working both with Colin and Nick over the coming year. As I prepared to become your president, I reflected on what I personally can do to help. I reflected on our mission, our, our royal charter, and one particular word from our mission resonated, promote. 
I want to bring our mission to life, give energy and focus to promoting our actuarial skill set and the value that actuaries can bring in a changing world. It's clear to me that there are many new and fast-growing industries that can benefit from our actuarial input, our skills and our expertise. Promoting our profession to these industries will ensure that we remain sustainable and relevant. Personally, I will be promoting and showcasing what actuaries can do for society, business and governments, how we can help solve society's big challenges, and how we can develop actuarial skills to benefit those who do use actuaries, those who could use actuaries, and those who should use actuaries. We should also promote innovation. The Certified Actuarial Analyst is a great example of how the Institute and faculty itself has embraced the needs of a changing world. This is a new and unique qualification which produces regulated professionals. It addresses a gap in the market identified by business and regulators. We should also promote the environment within which actuaries work. I'm delighted to announce that Council has approved the new Quality Assurance Scheme for organisations that employ actuaries. If we succeed in promoting actuaries in this way, it will deliver real change that will ensure that our profession is sustainable and valued by society, business and governments alike all around the world. Let me say a few words about the importance of education, and I mean that in its widest sense. Business leaders are telling us that they want actuaries with broad business skills. Members are telling us that they want relevant training and development opportunities. And our recent gender diversity survey is telling us that there are some real challenges for parents wanting to return to work after a career break. Having listened, we now need to respond. Let us be a profession that embraces and supports both men and women at different life stages in different areas of work and with different needs and skills. As your president, I'm committed to responding to that feedback. One thing I'm keen to do is to develop during my year a programme of masterclass events. These will help prepare members for senior leadership positions in business. They'll also enable members to respond to opportunities in new areas of work where actuaries can bring their distinct perspective. Moving into new areas, such as climate change, has opened the eyes of other professionals to a different perspective on an existing problem. Many have said they found it enlightening now, the Institute of Actors of Australia articulates this quite nicely in a marketing slogan. See what we see. But others will only see what we see if we are brave and put our heads above the parapet. I'm going to be brave, and I want you to be brave too. So why does the promotion of our actuarial skill set matter? Why does it matter to me as president? Why should it matter to you? Well, if we don't do it, 
It denies society, business and governments the opportunity to arrive at better decisions. It denies members the opportunity to develop their careers. It denies actuaries the opportunity to add real value, not just in the UK, but all around the world. I've mentioned regulation a couple of times, and I'd like to reflect on the importance of regulation. What sets us apart is the rigour and quality that regulation brings to our work as actuaries. If people view it as a, as a burden and a necessary overhead, they are, in my opinion, missing an important point. Our professional and ethical approach underpins everything we do. So I challenge you to join with me promoting the importance of our professional skills and regulation. It's lovely to see so many friendly faces in front of me um, tonight. Those of you who know me well know that the last nine years have been personally challenging in all sorts of ways. Those of you who don't, I'll just share a tiny bit of my personal life with you. Nine years ago, my husband died unexpectedly, and that followed the untimely death of my beloved sister a few years earlier. Events like that totally knock your life off course. But I'm incredibly lucky to have such wonderful, special friends and family, Martin, Margaret and Bill, who helped me through this. You all know, I hope, just how grateful I am for all the support you gave me as I rebuilt my life and my career. My standing here tonight as the second female president of the Institute and Faculty of Actuaries is in no small part down to your help, belief and encouragement. A huge thank you to each one of you. Before I finish, I want to leave you with one final challenge. I challenge each one of you, all of you as institute and faculty members, to fully support the promotion of the actuarial profession, our institute and faculty, and our vision and strategy. Together, we can ensure that actuaries and the actuarial skills we promote are sustainable, valued, indeed vital for solving real-world challenges. Together, we can provide the profession of the future, the profession that those gifted students in Mumbai and those like them around the world rightly expect and deserve. I look forward to working with you, to leading you, and above all, to promoting you and your skills and our great institute and faculty of actuaries. Thank you.